YouTube channel. I'm Rohi. So in last video session, you have seen that how the autopilot bot is working right now in between the Twilio. Now what we'll do in this video, we'll create the Twilio function and then whatever data is generating during this uh, process will send to that third party. So let's see how we can do. So before we start, if you like my video, um, if you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Um, also, I will recommend that if you have not watched my past video regarding that autopilot one, I would mostly suggest that go and watch this video because this is very uh, interrelated with these two topics. So I would suggest that go and see the first that video and then uh, see this video. Okay. that how the autopilots and the function is interact so if you go to this our um, build a bot here so first we will understand that how we can create a function basic function and then we will come to that HTTP function call so this is the function we have to click here and then click the services click the create service and then here you need to provide the services we will put that service name equal to bot and click next so our service is generated and this service name is the bot inside the services uh, we have the assets and the functions and the settings three modules are there so functions is like a functions where we can call these functions asset is a fixed text where we can uh, write some text and then access that and the settings where we can declare the environment variables we can declare the dependency so first we'll create a new function called add functions here and then change the function name here to create incident. So this is our first uh, functions. So now you can see once we created, it is generated the predefined template. What we'll do, we'll remove all these states here. This also we just turned off and here we write that console.log hello world. So this is the message we just put that and save. So remember that these all these text should be inside that. Just simply save that. Also, what I'll do, I'll just make that uh, private function to the public and click simply deploy the bottom there will be deploy button you just need to click the deploy the deploy is completed and it's have a green trick mark and it's saying the latest version is deployed i'll just enable the live uh, logs and clear all these messages and copy the url and then hit in my browser once I hit in my browser, you can see that it's saying the runtime application timeout and if I go here, here, this text is executed. Basically, this hello world text is printed. It means that this function is working right now. Copy this URL and then go back to our autopilot bot and create incident. I'll simply open that and inside that you can see that we can in last section we have it one on complete it means that whenever your task is complete what should be happen it mentioned that redirect and where you should redirect i'll just replace this one and paste this link it means that whenever this task will be uh, completed it should be redirect to this message simply save this here and build our model going back to our sections here if you see um, what if we want to say something or if we want to respond something how the structure should be this is the same our standard structure right we'll copy this structure and then going back to this function and what i do here i will declare a const variable called uh, response and paste full text i'll remove this listen text keyword and here i'll put some text called 
and then turn on this return block and here I will pass this response block. Simply save that and click bottom there you will be deploy button and simply click the deploy. Once you can see that it is deploying the mark is not yet green it means that the latest version is not yet deployed. Now it is in the green mark it means the latest version is deployed. What we will do here right now autopilot and keep the simulator and try right now and type create incident. It will ask three questions so I will put my name. After that it means that after putting this answer it will be on complete and redirect to this function and this function will reply me thanks for contacting. Let's save that. So you can see these functions return me thanks for contacting but the data whatever data we have received so far will not yet send to the third party. So let's do and let's send the data to the third party. Type in the Google call HTTP call node.js and here uh, if I click the file way to make HTTP request in node.js it's open this window page and if I scroll down there is a one npm dependency called request 2.8.1.0 that you can use another library function is the access uh, this function using that you can send the data I like this function so I am going to use these functions so what I'll do here in these functions there is a dependency I'll click the dependency and add this access dependency I'll copy this from uh, dependency name in the module and then I'll copy the version from here and paste that. So now my dependency is added right now going back to create incident what we'll do I'll write some code so first I'll write um, I import um, this dependency for that what I'll do I'll type the cons there. so uh, I I put the cons that access the required it means that these plugins or you can say that this app library function is imported here and the inside the dependency I have declared here now I'll go to that declare one more variable cons dot body the body we are going to send that here I'll pass the event and then there is a uh, function called memory I'll pass that memory is nothing but where this chat is generating it have a memory or it is generating a memory inside the simulator if you go back there is a memory function which is nothing but it's generate a JSON and that JSON we will pass to the third party or application what we will do here we will uh, pass that as a body and then I will declare one more uh, uh, variable called header and inside this header what I will do I will pass uh, two things one is the content type content type equal to application slash json and next what we will pass that authorization and here we will pass the basic key now here what we will do what I will do I will go back to this method and then uh, copy this whole code here and paste to this function okay and here I will pass my uh, endpoint and secondly I will pass the body here and thirdly I will pass the headers this one okay and inside the response I will get the response so what I will do here I will do that response dot data so here I just need to be replaced with this my third party endpoint and here I just need to be put the credential let me put those two details 
So now you can see I have just put that basic uh, authentication and the endpoint and if I um, retry that it should give me this um, console. So let's save that. Apart from that what I'll do whatever response I am getting from the third party I'll pass that response here. So I'll cut this message. So I'll cut this message here from here and then whatever response I am getting from this third party I will pass this message instead of hard coding this message I will pass that message so it means that what will be happens it will be hit to this server uh, with this body and then with this header whatever response we will get that will print into the console and then we will respond to that our message so let's enable our live logs and then see that how it's work so you can see i have received a message that response is already declared because i it's the response it's a const i can declare the same value what i'll do i'll just change this one to so this is the simulator uh, actually in that whatsapp or in a bot how it will work the same way it will work here so what i'll do i'll type that how so once I type hi, you can see that it is asking me that hello, what can I help you today? And then I can create the incident and I can search the incident. I'll type that the create incident. And then once I type the create incident, it will ask a few questions. I'll put that what's my name, I'll put my name and then I'll put that email address and then uh, I'll give my issues that it is that what your issue i'll say that laptop is not working and then once i do that it will hit the all the details to the server and then server will respond to me that uh thanks for contacting us your incident number is this and response from the service now see so what we have changed here we just change that the method here i usually use to the gate it should be post and then i just remove the semicolon that's it so you can see by this we can connect to the server and then whatever uh, message we are getting from the server we can send to the server okay i will configure the same way for search one So I just created the uh, same way the search one just I will make this public these functions copy the URL and then I will go back to the task and for the search I will add the same way the search one. Now my configuration is done what I will do I will go to the simulator and then search for the incident. Here I will type that search for incident it will ask me the incident number I'll put that 3001 and server response me will be response me some messages that incident is a new state this message is nothing but coming from the server and also if you see this the memory uh, inside that this G complete JSON will be delivered to the a third party and then third party will be process these details and sending back to with this incident so that's it for today in next sessions we will talk about that uh, how we can connect to the whatsapps and then using the whatsapp we can interact with our chatbot called um autopilot chat <laughs>